Mr. Shannon's Rolls 96 here. In the video, I'm going to be talking about a new Hot Toys figure that was just shown, and this time it is from Rogue One, and that being everybody's favorite robot, K2SO. Um, I'm quite excited for this new uh, droid in the film. I think that uh, although, you know, BB-8 was very cute and I definitely liked him a lot, uh, I've never really connected uh, super well with any of the droids. I mean, they're all fine. I don't dislike any of them, but uh, I've never had a huge attachment to a specific one. Um, BB-8 was the closest I've ever got to that, but k 2 so he seems like he's the perfect one for me. I feel like uh, I'm going to really enjoy this droid in the film. Uh, not only is his look great, but I like his backstory, and I think that he is the best able to um, convey emotion. Uh, I, you know, C-3PO of course was able to as well, but his emotion is a little bit more annoying. Uh, I think that K2SO is the perfect balance of being able to display emotion and that emotion being interesting. So I'm extremely excited for his character in the movie, and I'm even more immensely excited for the actual movie itself. Uh, I'm filming this on Wednesday and um, I have my tickets for IMAX 3D tomorrow night, you know, Thursday night. I am stoked for it. I, I figured that Hot Toys would be showing K2SO this week and I was correct. And uh, as you can see, all the official images are out. So let's get talking about the actual figure here. Now, it's hard to kind of talk about this because uh, you, there's no face code to talk about or anything. And it's a, it's a droid, so the pieces all have to be cut very nicely and has to be very clean and organized, uh, which is pretty easy to do for a toy company. It's when you have to put in that realistic detail that it becomes um, uh, uh, more than just that. However, of course, Hot Toys has demonstrated that detail very nicely in all the little chips and little scrapes throughout the entire uh, figure. As as you can see it's done really well and that looks quite good. As far as his height, he's very tall. He's uh, just over 14 inches tall, so quite tall. Um, you know, not, not like Ultron Prime tall or anything like that, but he is still a very tall figure. He'll tower over any of the uh, normal size figures that you do have. His proportions are relatively thin, except for his torso. He's got a pretty decent sized torso, but then the arms and legs are very thin, of course, and his articulation is very visible. I would imagine his, that his articulation is going to be pretty good. Um, let's just get a little static picture here. As you can see, uh, you can you know you can basically see where all of his joints are. I, I would imagine he'll have a ball joint at the top of the neck and at the lower part of the neck. He'll have ball hinge shoulders, which should have good range. I don't know if they're going to go up a super far or not, but of course they'll be able to swivel fully. He'll have single hinge elbows that can swivel, um, so decent articulation there. Obviously, double hinge would have been better, but I mean the character in the movie doesn't even have double hinge, so that's completely fine. He has hinge swivel at the elbow. The fingers, I they're definitely articulated. Yeah, he's got articulated fingers. I would imagine um, torso articulation. I believe that there is a shot of him with some uh, with, some, with some motion in his torso. So I believe like a ball jointed upper torso, ball jointed hips, single hinge knees, and uh, I would imagine a swivel there too. And then uh, just hinge um, feet. They can pivot at the very bottom of the hinge. So articulation on him seems to be pretty nice. Obviously, I would imagine that he'll have the full range of the one in the film. Um, as far as his accessories, he's quite light, uh, but that was not a surprise. I wasn't really expecting him to come with much because from the trailers we really haven't seen him use too much. Uh, he comes with the blaster, which we did originally see. That was originally going to be an accessory that came with the Black Series one. However, the final product did not include it. So although I personally have never seen um, a piece of advertisement for Rogue One that showed him with the blaster, but I knew that some point in the movie he would hold one considering that toy was originally going to have the blaster with it. And then he comes with the grenade. We do see him use that grenade in one of the more recent um, trailers. Uh, I believe one of the uh, TV spots actually um, where you know they're all kind of freaking out because he's holding the bomb and and he just kind of casually throws it behind him and it ends up blowing up stormtroopers so obviously I think that this character is going to be used for comic relief quite a bit and I am quite excited about that um, Lastly, he comes with a standard base. I'm really liking these bases for Rogue One. I like kind of simple rectangle bases. I think the base themselves look very nice. They kind of look like the floor of the Death Star. And then I do like the option of having the print on top of it that's kind of just artwork of the characters. I think that's very cool. They're doing the same thing for just about every other uh, figure so far, uh, which I like a lot. I think it's going to help unify them. And it's going to have uh, an artistic look to it, which I think will be very cool. The issue I have with that is it's going to kind of force people to try to position them so that they're not like stepping on the faces so that you can see the faces clearly but usually the faces are kind of off to one side and therefore it's gonna be hard to position them without covering the image uh, which is unfortunate but you know that's a that's a pretty small thing 
Quickly, I just wanted to show you just a little comparison of the three heroes, the three members of Jin Russo's team that we have, uh, the official images for and that have gone on pre-order. Um, although K2SO, has, at the time of filming, this has not gone on pre-order. I will talk about his price, but it will be more speculative. I, I don't have an exact answer for it at the moment. But as far as um, uh, Chirrut Imwe, played by Donnie Yen, I'm very excited for his uh, for his figure, and he's looking quite nice. Jin Russo, of course, is on pre-order, and, and Donnie Yen is, and then K2SO should be going on pre-order within a, a few hours of when I'm making this. Um, if not, then he should be on pre-order the next day. Uh, but uh, personally, um, I you know, uh, well, before I get into that, I will say that they are, they have confirmed Baze Malbus. Obviously, he was at the same event uh, where all of these figures were shown, so that figure will be going on pre-order pretty soon, I would imagine. Cassian has not been shown or anything, however, he seems to be a very main character of the film, and if they're going to do Baze, I would imagine they'll do Cassian as well, so Cassian and Andor, I think, is a, is a definite that they'll do. Um, then we have uh, Rook, I believe is his last name. Um, played by, oh, Riz Ahmed, that's it. Isn't that it? Yeah, Riz Ahmed, yeah, yeah. He's playing uh, the other member of the team. Now him, I don't think that his character is getting much love, at least from what I've seen from all the promotional material. I really don't see him very much. I don't think he's going to be a fan favorite. However, I still he's still a part of the team. So since it looks like they're doing the entire team, uh, I would imagine that they'll include him as well. Because uh, on his own, I don't think that Hot Toys would do him, but to complete the team, I think that they probably will do him. And then as far as uh, Orson Krennic goes, uh, I really hope they do him, but at the moment there's no confirmation, and I'm not 100% sure if they will. I think that there's a fair chance, but not a big chance. Um, so personally, which ones do I plan on getting now? I don't know K2SO's price yet, and I'm actually waiting uh, to pre-order any of these until I see the movie tomorrow. Once I see the movie tomorrow, I might pre-order one of these, and then I, I might start making my final decisions on who I'm going to get. But at the moment, without having seen the movie, I do think that I'm going to get these three, basically, for Rogue One. K2SO, Jin Urso, and Chirrut Imwe. I think Chirrut Imwe is going to be an awesome character. I really like Donnie Yen as a, uh, a martial arts you know, expert and um, and uh, and actor. So I am pretty excited for his character in the movie. I think that, that figure is going to be quite nice. Jun Urso is also the uh, Jun Urso is the star of the film, so she's of course pretty much uh, needed. And Felicity Jones, I like her as an actress, so I am excited for that one. K two S O again. I think that he's an iconic droid from this movie, and I think that uh, he's going to be my favorite droid in Star Wars. That's just my prediction at the moment. So. Um, I'm excited for all of these, and uh, the only reason I won't be going going crazy with this line is simply because it's one movie. We're never going to see these characters again. It's one and done. Uh, by the time these figures come out, the movie will be on DVD, and you know all the hype for it will be gone. Uh, so I, I really I do want to get some figures to kind of represent this film. However, I don't need the entire collection because obviously these characters will never be seen again. Um, as far as price goes, uh, K2SO hasn't gone on pre-order like I said. Um, he should be going on pre-order today. I would think that the price, if I had to guess what he'll be priced at, it's, I would guess it's $265. I think that that is uh, a price that Sideshow... Oh! Oh wait, it's on pre-order. You know, as I was talking, I refreshed my... Um, uh, my sideshow page specifically to see, you know, if he would be gone on pre-order. Oh, luckily. Oh, that's great. Oh, he's, he's 230. Sorry, this is slow. He is actually only $230. Give me a second here. Well, the timing on that couldn't be any better. Uh, so as, so as you can see, he has gone on pre-order while I've been talking about him uh, while making this video, so this is quite exciting. Two thirty, I think, is a very reasonable price. I would have figured that uh, Sideshow would have bumped the price up even more just because they could. And obviously, this is a relatively large figure. You know, he doesn't come with much, but I still would have thought that they do that, um, especially since he does have light up eyes as well as his eyeballs do move. Now, I don't see much need for it because it kind of looks like his eyes are kind of like uh, set inside of his skull. There, it doesn't look like there's much room for them to move, but apparently they do move. I mean, that, that is one of the features that's listed on this figure, so that's exciting. Um, I don't know if it's necessary. Like, that could either be, when you get it in person, it could be, you know, barely noticeable and just kind of unnecessary, or it could be really cool and it could add a dynamic uh, um, feature to this figure. Who knows? Uh, it's really going to, uh, to you know, it's just a roll of the dice at the moment. Hopefully, uh, when we get them in person, we do find that that is a necessary and a very cool feature, because it, it certainly could be. Um, so, 230 I think, is a reasonable price. 
I, uh, I would have expected them to go higher, although if I had finished what I was saying, I would say that I expected them to do a higher rate, however, I thought that he was more uh, worth, like 240, so to see him even less than that is really great, and I'm very happy about that. Um, the one thing I'm not happy about is that release date. October to the December of 2017, um, and by the time it makes it to U.S., uh, to the States, that's going to be definitely, that, that's a full year away, um, which is super unfortunate considering, uh, again, like, it's not like I can, by the time this figure comes out, I'll be hyped for the sequel or something because uh, Rogue One is a one-and-done film, you know, there's, uh, these characters aren't going to return. So, unfortunately, uh, it is a shame that we're going to have to wait so long uh, for this figure to come out. However, I think that it is looking like a great figure. I think the price is reasonable, and uh, I I am quite excited for this one. I'm even more excited just to see him in the movie tomorrow. So, can't wait to see him in the movie. Very happy with this figure, and I'm pretty happy with that price. Uh, disappointed in the release date, but that's 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 about it that I'm disappointed in, to be honest. So, I'm excited for this figure. Let me know what you guys think of it, and thanks so much for watching.